Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hashtag my global family. It is Monday, family, and this coyote is running on res time. Good morning. I'm Drea Beta, coyote walking in this world, real life, a slutter public superhero, proud two spirit indigenous warrior. Did you miss me, family? I have been gone. I've literally been gone, family, from vlogging for the last week. <laughs> I know it was the holidays and I'll be honest family this coyote got beat up pretty bad about two weeks ago there was someone in a position of authority and power who questioned this coyote's um ability to contribute to my own field family I am a critical race whiteness intersectional scholar here on a mission from my ancestors to transform this world oh yeah family watch out watch out <laughs> I'm going to be president or emperor empress of the Americas, depending on our dystopian future family, by the time I'm 64. So watch out, United States of America. This coyote is going to make some waves. <laughs> ah, family, honestly, are you run down a little bit? It's about recovering from the holidays. Anyone else have some turkey weight they have to drop this week? That would be this coyote. I gained six pounds, family. No joke. Six pounds. <laughs> I blame that pumpkin pie. <laughs> How about the rest of you? Do we put on a little bit of weight? Let's be honest, family. This coyote is pretty excited. <coughs> I was asking my coaches last week, as you know, family, I have been training and keeping off 110 pounds since 2017. I had gastric bypass family. I was dying at 35 and transformed my life. Because honestly, family, I was 35 and I couldn't see a future for myself. I couldn't walk upstairs. I couldn't touch my toes. I couldn't do a lot of things in life. And I honestly wanted to have children. But at 290 pounds, family, and the history of diabetes since I was 15 years old, I had been diabetic for over 21 years. So it was not looking good for me, family. So what did I do? I called upon my doctor, my amazing doctor, um, Dr. Nelson family. Literally, Dr. Nelson's been my doctor since I was in high school. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Don't want to date myself too much. <coughs> But he said, yes, you're a good candidate for gastric bypass. It's going to take a lot of dedication. It's going to take a lot of hard work. And family, I have been teaching in academia for the last 10 years. Shout out to my Brookline College nursing students. And shout out to my New Mexico Highland School social work students. I'm just saying, family, you are transforming the world every single day. And I'm so proud and honored to have been part of your educational experiences. So family, I'm just saying, we went through COVID, it's still affecting our lives. This is your daily reminder, family, that if everything is not okay right now, it is not you, it is COVID, it is capitalism, it is this ridiculous housing, job, um, inflation, economic crisis we're all going through, family. So I'm just saying, this coyote was feeling bad this morning. I didn't feel good this morning, family. My PTSD and anxiety was riding me, and that plays, <laughs> it plays a, a number on my tummy. I'll be honest. So if you have PTSD, if you have anxiety, if you have depression, and you've been struggling through the holidays, family, this coyote is there to tell you you're not alone. I'm also struggling with my anxiety, with my depression, family. And the fact that I still got onto yoga at 11.15 in the morning after being depressed for a week is testament to our resiliency, family. I have PTSD, I have depression, I have anxiety, I'm a medical marijuana user, advocate, revolutionary, and researcher, and I'm telling you, family, some days, despite all this privilege, despite all this love, it is still a struggle to get up in the morning. So family, I love you and we're all doing the best that we can. So this is your daily reminder to be kind to yourself and to each other because you are amazing, handsome, beautiful, brilliant, talented. And although we might be different family, although you might walk in the world slightly <laughs> sideways, upside down, uh, backwards, in any way, any direction I really want family, because I'm a coyote. <laughs> You ever tried to cage a coyote? 
doesn't work out very well, family. We're tricksters and we get out. <laughs> so family, join me in this great celebration of life that we have, knowing that, you know what, there's ups and there's downs. And this coyote has been down, down, down family. But you know what? For every moment that I am down, there's going to be a rise in the future. So family, although I've been depressed, although I've been anxiety ridden, I'm going to banish the blues away, family. <laughs> because honestly, I'm going to start looking towards the future. So join me, family. Let's start plotting. Let's start planning. And let's keep looking towards the future because that's what gives me hope. All right, family, I've been fighting my depression, but you know what? I'm going to stop feeding it. I'm going to stop feeding my depression, and I'm going to work on solutions to make me feel more at ease. So, family, thank you again for joining me for Wheelchair Yoga for Elders. Let's get our wheelchair yoga on. Woo! Can't wait, family. Can't wait. Okay, Shout out. Let's begin. Also, family, shout out to my sister, Teresa Black Owls. This one's for you, sis. You inspire me. You love me. And I'm so excited that you're part of my life. Also, sorry I've been offline for last week. I for real was depressed. So I'm glad I'm back to shine bright. And I'm sending my love to you in South Dakota, sis. This hits for you. <laughs> I love you, sis. And also to my sister, Teresa. <coughs> my sis Teresa in Las Vegas, Nevada. I love you, sis. Shout out. I have two. I have a Teresa and I have a Teresa in my life. And both of them are integral parts of my global family. And honestly, both of you shine bright and help lift me up all the time. So mwah, 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 mwah. this coyote loves you so much. All right, family, let's go ahead and do our yoga. <laughs> by finding a gentle lift in the heart. So one of the things I love about yoga with Adrian community is that there's this focus on three things. And it's you just do your best. Show up and you do your best. We try to be authentic, you know, give ourselves permission to be ourselves, really just show up as our true self. And the last one, you know, find what feels good. So keep those three things in mind throughout this practice today. So you might lean, you might be leaning back in your chair, lifting your heart. You might be sitting up nice and tall. So to each his own for sure. Lifting up through the chest. Then take a second, trust yourself, trust me, trust the video and take a deep breath in and close your eyes. And then exhale, relax your shoulders down. Again, with the eyes closed, take a deep breath in, just kind of going inward a little bit, checking in. And exhale, relax your shoulders. And then one more time, just like that deep breath in. <coughs> fill up with air and exhale, relax your shoulders down. <coughs> Excuse me. Give yourself permission here to enjoy this time to tend to yourself, little TLC. Go ahead and put away the day thus far. Allow the future agenda to be put on hold and do your best to just allow yourself to be really, really present, really in the moment. Okay, a little goes a long way. So from here, we're gonna keep nice, long, deep breaths going. So best you can, nice, full breaths. Just notice how that goes. Sometimes you'll forget, you'll wanna come back to it with a deep breath in. And then a big exhale to relax the shoulders. All right, so keep coming back to that breath. Keep noticing where you're at with your conscious breathing. Now with the hands resting gently on the tops of the legs, you can also grab your chair, the arms of the chair, the outer edge of the chair. We're gonna inhale, lift the chest even more, open up through the front body and lift the chin just slightly. And then exhale, rounding through the spine. Think cat cow here, chin to chest. Again, you can close your eyes if you're feeling groovy. Inhale, open, lift up through your front body, opening through the chest, lifting the chin. And then exhale, rounding through chin to chest, way to the head, drops down and over. Do two more, inhale, open, think long, puppy belly in the front. Feel that stretch as you expand and then exhale round. 
spinal flex so good inhale do one more inhale lifting lengthening smiling perhaps and then exhale chin to chest navel draws back here and this time we're going to pause breathing deep feeling that awesome stretch in the back of the neck here allowing the shoulders to go ahead and round forward the fingertips to be soft and relaxed take a deep breath in here feel this awesome stretch in the back body and then on an exhale keep the chin tucking into the chest and just slowly begin to roll it up head over heart heart over pelvis Great, take a deep breath in and exhale, relaxing the shoulders down, 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 long in the neck. Sweet, take the fingertips forward and then plug the shoulders into socket. Again, take the fingertips forward, reach, and then plug the shoulders back into socket. Then we'll take one of my faves, thriller arms, fingertips down, keep plugging the shoulders in. And you will already start to feel this nice stretch through the forearm here. Spread the fingertips. Try to keep a lift up through your chest. Breathing deep here. All right, let's flow with the breath. So bringing the wrists together here, we're going to open up through the chest, start to stretch the pectorals as we inhale. Keep the fingers down, open the arms super wide. Exhale, bring them back to center. The arm is going to get tired here, so stick with it. Just a few. Inhale, opening up through the chest, lifting the heart. Maybe the pinkies start to draw back a little bit more. Maybe not. And back to center. And then one more. Inhale, open. This is that Titanic moment, that Kate Winslet moment. I'm always talking about it. Inhale. Exhale. Great. Stick with it. Flip the palms. Press, 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 press. I'm going to take a moment here. If you need a little more, you can bring one hand to the fingers for a deeper stretch. And then open it up. Inhale, lift the heart, stretch. Exhale, bring the thumbs together. Ooh, inhale, open, spread the fingertips. Exhale, close. Are you breathing? Inhale, open last time. And exhale, close. This time, hook the thumbs together and inhale, reach for the sky. Wu Tang. Inhale, lifting and lengthening through all four sides of the torso. Big breath in as you exhale, tilt gently to the right, gentle side body stretch. Inhale to center, smile. Exhale, tilt to the left, gentle side body stretch. So focusing on the sensation over the shape, as always, inhale, reach. And exhale should feel awesome as you rain the fingertips down. Keep the heart open, lifted, and just take a second to notice how you feel. Awesome work. So this time we're gonna take the fingertips forward, plug the shoulders in, eagle arms, right arm comes underneath the left arm, and we wrap the palms, maybe they touch. Another option is to just keep them like this, like like this, or maybe you wrap around Garandasana. Now keep the shoulders plugged in, inhale, lift the elbows, eagle arms, exhale, rounding through the spine, chin to chest, just like the spinal flex from before. Inhale, rise up strong, lengthen through the side body, and exhale, release, chin to chest. Awesome, inhale, one more. And exhale, chin to chest. Great, we're gonna unravel the arms. Inhale, open, big flying V here. Pinkies are forward, thumbs are back. And exhale, bend the elbows, slight back bend here if you like, cactus arms. Great, inhale to reach up. And exhale, once again, rain it down and just notice how you feel. Whew. Awesome. Mm. Great, fingertips reach forward. Plug the shoulders in. Left arm underneath the right this time, or whichever one you did before, you're gonna switch it. Here we go, inhale, lift the elbow. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding through the spine. Inhale, eagle arms lift you up. And exhale, chin to chest. And one more, you gotta inhale. And exhale, chin to chest. 
Great, slowly unravel the arms. Send the fingertips up high to the sky. Pinkies forward, thumbs back, big breath. Then exhale, bend the elbows, thumbs back, pinkies forward, cactus arms. Ooh, yes. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, rain it down. Awesome. So we're going to finish off with a twist. Should feel really yummy. So there's different variations of this, of course. We're going to start nice and simple by just taking the left hand to the outer edge of the right thigh and then slowly starting from the base of the spine up, beginning to open up through the sides. Now, different variations. You can use your arm on the chair. You can bring one hand behind. So there are ways to get a little more out of this, but I also just recommend you keep it small to start. Just kind of understanding and remembering that a little goes a long way. Take one more deep breath in. Inhale, lift and lengthen here. And then exhale, release, come back to the center. Take it to the other side. So twists are really great for the spine, but they're also really great energetically because you get a chance to Benji, everybody. You get a chance to lift your heart and then on the exhale, choose to let go of that which no longer serves you. It's a detox, right? So again, inhale, lift your heart. And on the exhale, maybe you quietly say to yourself, I let go of that which just simply doesn't serve me. Wherever you are, take one more deep breath in. And exhale, release. Inhale in. Exhale, release. Benji the dog, everyone. Bring the palms together at the heart, Anjali Mudra. And take a moment to appreciate yourself. Appreciate your body. And we'll take one more deep breath in together and gently bow the head to the hands. So we finish practice by bowing to the best and most beautiful version of ourselves. And yes, we acknowledge that in one another. So I acknowledge you, the light in me, vows to the light in you. We'll take a deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Perfect, Benji. Then inhale, lift your chin, lift your gaze. Check out Benji below my chair. Perfect. Just in time for the big ending. We we'll bring the thumbs to the third eye today. May we always see the truth. And drop the fingertips to the lips. May we always speak the truth. And finally, my friends, to the heart. May we always feel it. Thanks for sharing your practice with me. Take good care. Namaste. Namaste, family. Namaste, family. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? That was 11 minutes of Zen, family. I highly, highly, highly suggest... That no matter what your age or your fitness level, that you seriously consider adding yoga to your life family. This coyote lost 110 pounds in 2017 and I've kept it off. I now train and compete in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu family. I am proud to be a white belt with three stripes. Watch out world, this coyote is on a mission for my ancestors to transform it. Don't forget family, in addition to being an Ivy graduate, a published author, a vlogger with over 26,000 followers on seven social media platforms, a doctoral candidate at the University of New Mexico, a critical race, whiteness, intersectional scholar. <laughs> I am also here to take care of our spiritual selves family. I am pastor and now in an effort to decolonize, just call me Coyote, of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critical Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Our services are every other week on Wednesdays, family. I apologize, I did take off last week, family. During the holidays, I feel like we should take a break from all the hubbub of everything and work on quality time with our loved ones. So thank you, family, for allowing me to have a break last week. Family, today we ask our ancestors for their prayers and guidance as we start a new adventure. So family, today's very special prayer is inspired by my auntie. My auntie Laura is here visiting us from Virginia 
and she is traveling back home and family not only is my auntie but millions of americans and people around the world who have been traveling are going to be taking trains planes buses driving flights who knows what so today family our very special prayer is to ask for blessings for any of our family members who are traveling gammy it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild I know I have been busy again, but it's all in your name. Gammy, please send your guidance and your blessings to all of our family members from around the world as they travel back home if they've been visiting relatives during the turkey holiday last week. We love you, we respect you, and we do honor to your memory and name. Thank you, Gammy. May you rest in peace. To my papa, to my great grandpa, to all of our ancestors who have gone before us. Send us your blessings and guidance. We just finished a very busy holiday, ancestors, and many people are traveling to go home. May you send them their blessings and make them uh, keep them safe and sound, um, especially with all the strains going on, family, with the virus still active. Many of our children and our community members, our elders, people are at risk. So Gammy, Papa, ancestors, all those who have gone before us who are adopted in our hearts with love and those related by blood, please send us your guidance and blessings and keep all of our communities safe. Family, it's Monday and this coyote was really, really late. <laughs> I'll be honest, my depression, my anxiety, my PTSD, and I'll be completely frank, my tummy hurt this morning. I was not feeling well this morning, so I ended up being four hours late. But as always, family, better on res time than never. <laughs> this coyote loves you, and I'm off to go cause trouble somewhere else. But stay safe, family, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>